Ryan Payne, Payne Capital, a group, of course, I'm not affiliated with. I want to talk to you about these, like the cruise industry, uh, airlines, you know, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian. They both actually got downgrades from two firms today, Southwest and Macquarie. But individual investors piled into these names big time. Uh, and, and so where are you right now? Delta, also another name in the airlines that are struggling, but intriguing as stock plays. Yeah, intriguing is right because I mean they really haven't sold off that dramatically today. Like even with Delta's miss on the earnings trials, it's only down like two percent. So I think at this point, if you look at, I mean, they've got plenty of cash, like over sixteen billion, and they should be, you know, they should stop burning cash by the end of the year. And meanwhile, like I just got back from LA, and my trip out to LA, there was less people on the plane. But on the way back, there was more people on the plane. I got to think, Charles. The economy is reopening. That's going to be very good for airline stocks and cruise stocks as well. Got to get that all, all that all you can eat buffet on those cruises. Um, I think as the economy reopens, <laughs> these are probably going to be attractive plays. Just saying. All right. So I know you're a contrarian. I know you're typically upbeat, but you're not in these names just yet, are you? Charles, my brother from another mother. I think they're great spec plays, but look, I'm an asset allocator, so I like to look at the big picture. And right now we're looking at just like value stocks versus growth stocks. I mean, we have the biggest valuation differential I've ever seen in my career. So we're definitely looking at overseas as well, where valuations are really cheap and looking to put money in all those places right now. My only beef with that, Ryan, is you know, I have all these brilliant experts who come and they say, hey, I like valuation. Growth is overvalued. But sometimes overvalued, oversold stocks or undervalued stocks are, are, are there for a reason, right? In, in other words, they're just simply not performing. So it's always been tough for me as an investor to load up on names of companies that just aren't performing. I mean, are there specific names, areas that you like that you just think have been overlooked? Well, I think financials say we're a good litmus test with earnings coming out. I mean, J.P. Morgan specifically, I mean, their trading activity was up 70%. Uh, for the quarter, and they're just well positioned here. They're more diversified. I got to think, Charles. Again, I just see, you know, if I look at the numbers, we've got that reacceleration of global growth. It's happening. Look what happened with China, and the stock market is outperforming ours at this point this year. You know, that means interest rates at some point probably go up. Lending is going to come back. You know, consumer is going to start consuming again. So for all those reasons, if you believe the economy is going to reaccelerate, and I do, there's no way financials. You know, energy stocks, all that stuff is going to benefit from that. And look, don't discount growth. Market can stay irrational longer than you and I can stay solvent. You remember 99 to 2000. Things can get grossly overvalued. Like, have that in your portfolio. But right now, let's right. face it, and you get the rest of the stock market is really, really cheap. You've got to take advantage of it. All right. Energy, of course, is the best performing S&P sector today. I'll look at it when the West Texas Intermediate gets above 42. Hey, Ryan, I got to go. But uh, do you, for people who do want to play emerging markets and they don't know where to begin, is there one or two good ETFs to look at? I love the VWO. That's the Vanguard one. It's the cheapest. It's capitalization weighted. So you're getting things like Tencent that's done really, really well this year out of China. Um, I think that's an right. easy play. And it's, you know, three and a quarter percent yield. Got to love that as well. Ryan, good stuff. Uh, talk to you again real soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Charles.